fire at your faces. We're doing it. It's getting good. We have to return. We were summoned once more to check out more internet historian in incognito mode. It's me. Wink, wink. Nudge, nudge. It's okay. They don't know a thing. It's fine. We were to check out... Oh, artistic adventures, love, happiness, pure art, yes, most artistic, all the artness. As an, a student, an art student, I guess this, this quite matters to me to a specific de degree, but I, it, art. We're going to take our art in the historian incognito mode. We have to go back into incognito form. Let's get it. Link in the description. Let's get it, boys. Art. 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 Art! What is art? How does one is art? Is it wearing a beret? Yes. Is it using big words to seem deep? Indubitably. Is this goose a art? Oh my god. More importantly, when is art? And when is dinner? Yes. And where are my pants? Uh, and where am I? And have uh, you seen my mum? I'm lost <laughs> and confused. Please help me. All of these questions and more on and the more. next episode of oh. In The Quarantine. Listen, Samito, you what Philistine, you've what been uncultured uh, swine. I need to show you some art. Art. Sure. I don't know any art. Do you know any art? What is uh, an art? <laughs> so you've got a self-painting on the wall, right? A self-portrait on the wall. You've done it sort of abstract. You're standing next to it in a raincoat and a plague doctor's mask. What? So they don't know that you're the artist, right? Oh. And the richest, most, yeah. most famous art buyer walks in right yeah. and he goes this is a magnificent chimpanzee <laughs> this is the most beautiful chimpanzee i've ever done in your i've ever I've seen ever done. Just there like uh yeah yeah, so yeah you it's show. a chimpanzee yeah. it's, it's the best yes. fucking chimpanzee i've ever yeah totally yeah. innocuous oh, yeah. chimpanzee and it's then he buys it 50 million dollars he buys your 50 chimpanzee million dollars. and now that you gotta live with that now you can't admit it to you mm. right oh. the whole value is tied into the fact that he thinks it's an ape 50 million dollars oh. Hello. Watch this. I reckon I can turn this from like a sixty million dollar painting to a like ten million dollar a painting. three a three hundred million dollar. Oh, three hundred million no. dollars. From too. But Bruh. isn't the unibrow like a fuck. you know like a mark of status in Latin America? Like only the royal what? only the royal families are allowed to have unibrows. Bruh. And like only really powerful women are allowed to have mustaches. It's like a show of with military the mustache. Yeah, yeah, sure. You're turning her into a commoner is what you're doing. You're turning her into a commoner. Um, I mean, it honestly doesn't look like bad. you did much. No, these are only minor touches. It's got thorns around her neck and a dead bird. All right, we're fixing this. We can we're cover fixing some this. of the neck thorns this with an airplane pillow. <laughs> what oh, the no. hell? What do they wear around the neck in trouble? What do they wear around the neck in trouble uh, climate? Ropes, typically. <laughs> oh, Dude, wow. That's way oh, yeah. better. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Really. Chilling. What the fuck? Oh man, this is really coming together. Can you also put the chimpanzee in a little employee vest? Yeah. Yes. He's, kind of, he's kind of got that stern look on his face, you know? Like they're paying me just enough for me to not be on my phone, but not enough for me to tell you to stop smashing milk jugs for your TikTok. Bruh. Vincent Van Gogh! I know that guy! Go. Right. You hit him with the depression. Oh. Dude's as sick as he is, but yeah. he's got a YouTube channel? Think about what the fuck that would be like. Oh, God. <laughs> and we just get this beautiful expression as what is this Drakkar Noir vlog that Vincent oh. Van Gogh has uploaded? Look at the oh. motion graphics. Look at the way he works like he's doing it. It's the wrong. That's the wrong. That's the wrong. He's using a mix of horizontal and vertical My to, to express. People are watching it in film schools like 10 years from now. Marvelous! <laughs> 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 interesting anecdote about drinking in Russia. Mm -hmm. So apparently they have this thing where if you want another drink, uh -huh, you uh -huh. tap the back of your shoulder. Uh -huh. And apparently, it, uh, I don't know how widespread this is, or, or how, even how true it is, but you tap the back of your shoulder. Right. And the reason why is because a couple hundred years ago, back in Russia, they were at war with someone else. And this other nation had a fleet of ships and they were quite a, a powerful mm. navy. And so Russia had to also build a navy very quickly to compete with them. Yeah. And so they commissioned some work from this guy who was who was supposed to be a very good sort of nautical engineer and, <laughs> uh, and shipbuilder. They have to build this navy and 
they succeed and it's all uh, thanks to this one dude who had all the knowledge. He had all the knowledge in his brain. Right. So the Tsar, I suppose at the time, hmm. said to him, ah, Boatman, I will give you anything you wish. Name a favor of me. You know what I want to do? Because he's a he was a total drunk. Yeah. And he said, I want to be able to drink in any pub, tavern, bar in Ooh, Russia for free. Okay. Right. And so the Tsar said, um, by order of royal decree. He uh, wrote uh, him uh, this decree that said decree. this guy can drink for free as much as he wants. He used to go around to all these, these bars and stuff and, and he would get wicked drug off everyone else's dime. Right. But one time he lost the piece of paper. <gasps> as you do. Idiot. Yeah, exactly. So he has to sort of sheepishly go back to the tsar and he goes, um, hey, can you can you write me another one of these fucking notes to get out of gym and get free drinks? And, he, and the guy goes, ah. All right. Uh, just, you know, keep in mind, I'm a busy man. So he writes him another decree. And he loses goes it three seconds later. Wicked drunk. God, again. Jesus. And, and then he loses the next one. Called it. He's like, oh, well, I'm certainly not going to pay for drinks. I'm just going to bother the czar again. So he pops back to the czar and he goes, you'll never believe what happened. And he goes, <laughs> God's sake. He goes, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to get it tattooed on the back of your shoulder. From then on, he would just go around to bars and Yo. he would show his bare shoulder and that tap on awesome. it and go, right. that's that's the word of the czar, I can drink for free. What the fuck? And so ever since then, it became like a thing. You tap the back of your shoulder saying another drink, please. That another is drink, please. interesting. Yo, yeah. I, I messed with that. That's kind of cool. I don't even drink, true. but that's kind of cool. I do too. After the recording, I looked into it and it was not. Leonardo da Vinci himself. So look at this face. Ah. Then look at this dude. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's exactly <laughs> it. Get a load of this fucking guy with the knife. Look at him. It's yeah. a lady, surely. With the knife? With the knife. Yeah, look, that's, that's her arm, isn't it? Oh, is it not oh the god. dude whose other hand seems to be on her neck? He's sort of doing like a weird pigeon arm holding it backwards? Nah, that doesn't make any sense. No, I think he's kind of curved around and he's holding his hand on her shoulder and then that's his sleeve there. Oh my God, oh, dude. To holding her hand and she's got the knife. Now we're getting sucked into the controversy. Dude. Who truly stabbed this guy? Oh. Let's analyze this picture some more. Oh no. You know, you know what's always sort of struck me about Mona Lisa is- The tits. <laughs> yes. Well, kinda, yeah. yeah. They're not terribly proportional. The cleavage feels like it's in the wrong place. Agreed, the agreed. Right and if not is enough- way it? smaller. Yeah. And the left side. There of it is. Well, at least we, we know that they're it. real. <laughs> oh, so obviously yeah. you don't we get imperfections it. with surgery. Art. Obviously the guy didn't know anything about proportionality. Or or women. Uh, He's got no or eyebrows. <laughs> yep. It's just like, why is this the most famous painting? Something okay. about There we go. Now we got She's it fixed. smiling, but not yes, smiling. Sir. And therefore beauty. You wouldn't call her beautiful. I wouldn't. Oh, shit. This was his ex. <laughs> this he, was, mm. they, they broke up. But she still held on to one of those coupons from their anniversary. Oh, paint where it was you like, beautifully. I will paint you beautifully. <laughs> and she was like, I don't care if we broke up. I want to utilize my coupon. I and he was like, fine, <laughs> but I'm going to fuck up the shading and make your tits look weird. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to draw you with sriracha sauce. Or things. Can I tell you my idea to be the curator to a uh, exclusively meme hosted art museum. Oh, I like don't that. say. I'm it already in. in. I'm in like a little tuxedo and I'm like, welcome. Thank you for joining us. Today we're taking a look at Halloween Pepe. <laughs> oh my God, <laughs> it's brilliant. The history of Pepe the Frog and what led us to Pepe in a fucking pumpkin head. Oh, it's more. If we were, if we were really good YouTubers, if we were really good YouTubers, mm. what mm -hmm. we would do is make a Facebook profile for her, in turn making a Tinder profile, and see how many right swipes we get by the end of the session. <laughs> <laughs> just like, just like that's a girl brilliant. Like a dog. Yeah. <laughs> Put it in a group picture. I'm the one in the oh, left. Oh shit! We'd need so many fucking face filters to make that look real. Dude, ah, for we real. Just throw some fucking uh, dog ears on it. Boom! Look like everyone else. Bruh. Be a nine out of ten instantly. Sandra Pollitt is here. I Said feel that like wrong, this one's but, less know. detailed, but I like it more. Neptune? Oh, Venus. Yeah, Venus. I do like this nice. one a lot more. There's more to look at. Birth of Venus. Venus, 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 Venus. Venus was um, blood from the tip of Zeus's penis. Ah! Uh, blood of Zeus's penis. Why is that Here a thing? Blood from his severed genitals fertilized the earth, and from that spot grew an almond tree. Right. Makes sense. With... Aphrodite, Aphrodite, Aphrodite. Ah, uh, so I'm completely, ah, oh, fuck. I thought I knew something for once. What the fuck? You, I, you did what? You, you, he, Zeus cut out the, 
did someone cut off it? Did, did, did Kratos take the sword of Zeus and cut off his... Oh! Oh, no! Cover! Cover the genitals! Save the gents! <laughs> You know, the ancient Greeks had 400 vending machines per person. This motherfucker. <laughs> That's a fact. You sure we're not talking about fridges? <laughs> nah, he says with absolute confidence. You think they'd sneak a Waldo in at some point or something just to keep this it mother. interesting. Oh, if there's a Waldo! Oh, my head! We'll, we'll hide they that. They almost thought that was me. How nice would it be? You zoom in and you're like, oh, look at all these flowers. And then one of them's like a steam code for cyberpunk. And it's like, oh, oh, yeah. Look at that. It all paid off. I swear I, I could be a better artist than these Greek idiots. I don't know what the fuck they were doing. That's way better. Woo, You're only saying damn. that because she's goth in this one. Yes, that's exactly I, I'm right. I'm disagreeing with you, that but is, like, damn, that's all. It's just like, you know what would be better than the Mona fucking Make Lisa? It black. The Mona Lisa with some eyeliner. Maybe some scrunchies on her arms. That's it. Wait, goth the background's Lisa. completely different in that one. It's not just like a darkened... Oh, God. I'm sorry. Oh, God. Oh, I wasn't ready for that. Can we take a moment to look at the the muscular who did this to Mona Lisa? Whose man is this? this? Whose man is this, this? Who dares give Mona Lisa the gains? <laughs> oh lord. Fernando Vittorio. Oh lord. Alright, so better or worse? What do you think? Uh the cleavage is in the right spot. <laughs> That one I actually oh, think could be kind of awesome. I mean, the less you paint, the more you're painting. You know what I mean? My God. That's kind of good. Right? I'm, I'm not mad with that. A lot of it's just about having some fucking color in the room. Yeah, yeah. for sure. And that does yeah. it. You could just put like a, a vase or something in front ah. of that. You wouldn't have to worry about the little dude. And then it'd just be like a nice, that it work. It looks like the movie poster for James and the Giant Peach. It low key does I though. Say, I don't think a lot of these are that Look, bad. Look, my no fine. <laughs> That looks like any modern piece today. Yeah. Agreed. Okay, I can see that this wouldn't be in a museum, but this absolutely blue lady with see iPod. In a museum and people saying it's, look, blue lady with iPod. <laughs> oh, this says a lot about our modern society. <laughs> Who's next? Edward Munch. Like yes, I mean, the now scream. that I'm looking at it for more than like five seconds, it is. Uh... It's iconic. But is it good? Well, here's what I'm thinking. <laughs> I like it already. It's like a Green Day concert. <laughs> Why are all artists so fucked up? There he is. Something. He is. Saturn devouring his son. Francisco oh, Goyo. There yeah, I go. remember Goyo. That crazy motherfucker. Strangely enough, I took art classes and and we we went through most of these guys. But is that like, supposed to be his arm? How come his arm is so hell? thick compared to this? <laughs> I thought and that was like, my mouth. The what the hell? Would mm. end about here, but his body just keeps going up. Oh, the dude locking eye contact with you is also a, oh, yeah, a big part of this. Uh, he's not focusing on the food. He's just looking directly your into soul. your soul. Is he wearing pants? He's got like horse legs, I think is what it, goat uh, legs, I think is what it's supposed to be. Why doesn't he have goat legs? He's just Maybe he's got a great top. Maybe that explains the. Yeah, he started from the. He started from the broken end. I don't know. The goat Everything about in. this painting. This <laughs> motherfucker. <laughs> they really match the uh, awkward angle at which the the shoulder leaves the body. We with found the, <laughs> him, boys. That we painting found the boys. was literally painted in a manic state, right? and then wow. kept in his mansion and never shown to anybody. Oh, really? So when the yeah. dude was going insane at the end of his life and just painting and whatever, yeah. like they discovered him dead at his place and that was never supposed to be seen by anyone. Oh, oh shit. that's really neat. He painted that because it came out of him and he kept it in the house hoping nobody would see it with no intention of showing anybody. Uh, do you well, reckon then. that's the, the direct inspiration for, what's that HP Lovecraft story? HP Lovecraft Pikmin's model? Pikmin's model, that's it, yeah. Whoa. This dude Salvador Dali, yes, he was sir. A legitimate psychopath. Really? Yep. He played the character, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. He Dali. hung out in cabaret bars. He had friends that were dwarves. You know, shit like that you wouldn't do back then. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so This one was different. Like, let, me, let me go get inspired for the next fucking clock. I'm about to melt. He yep. would have been an excellent fucking Twitter shit poster, man. <laughs> he didn't die in the fucking 80s or whatever. Mm. He'd be an interesting My fucking dude to follow on Twitter, no. I swear. My he bought guys. a castle. Age 76, lived a long life. He was exhumed. 2017, it was announced that a judge in Madrid had ordered the exhumation of Dali's body in order to obtain samples for a paternity suit. This oh, was shit. two years ago. This Wait, was two years ago that this happened. Oh, damn. Can you imagine how fucking nerve wracking that must have been? Like, he finally convinced the judge, okay, we're gonna dig up the body. They go in, they dig up the body. And then- They take that truck over to Mori, 
and now you're on stage in front of the entire audience. You are not the father. <laughs> the crowd goes wild. <laughs> and then, and then <laughs> screaming. Silver the Dollar gets out of the car <laughs> and he's just dancing around. Frank dancing. <laughs> you're running into the back hallways to God knows oh, where. Shit. It's a maze back there. He had a pet ocelot named Babu. He had a pet like, ocelot? People do that now mm. when you're like rich, rich. Yeah. But those fuckers bite. This is interesting. What's going on? <laughs> with his ever-present long cape. Okay, so he used to walk around with a long cape and a walking stick. <laughs> I told you, man. And a haughty expression on his face. I told you, man. I love this guy. He gave actress Mia Farrow a dead mouse in a bottle. <laughs> what the fuck? Him, which her mother, actress Maureen O'Sullivan, demanded to be removed from her house. What the fuck is that? I'm telling <laughs> For you. For real, This dude, Dali, was a motherfucker. Facts. He was also known to, known to avoid paying tabs yeah. at restaurants. I think a couple people did this. What? Like drawing the check. Yeah, he would, instead of paying, he would do a piece of art on the check. He would do a little <laughs> scribble, and then the restaurant would be like, oh, great. And they always say something about, like, the restaurant not wanting to, like, cash it in. <laughs> Dali appeared in public on a number of occasions with an anteater, notably on the lead in Paris in 1969. What the fuck? And I remember this on the Dick Cavett show. On the show, he surprised fellow guest Lillian Gish by flinging an anteater into her lap. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Why can't we learn this shit about Dolly? Fuck his art pool shit. This is about the fact that he threw a whole ass anteater at a woman. Bro, fuck your art bullshit. Can we talk about how this man was a freaking savage before savage was even a term? My man said he was known to walk outside with his pet anteater. <laughs> god damn. Oh my god. <laughs> I was not ready for that, man. This man said he took an anteater on a leash and yeeted it at somebody. <laughs> Oh, fuck me, that's good. Crater on Mercury <laughs> named The Dali Crater. Interesting. Ah, spaghetti painted. What? What's, that's what's spaghetti? he eating? Oh, he's <laughs> eating noodles. My cousin Vinny <laughs> eating fresh <laughs> pasta. <laughs> hey, what's the matter with you? Hey, what's the matter with you? I like the way he's done the color on that. Dude, I like <gasps> this stuff where people are just eating soup, eating noodles. Look at that like, whole artichoke. That, uh, that oh, looks wow. way better to me than the Mona Lisa. No, I mean, it, it, 100%. I mean, the, first of all, the artichoke doesn't look like it belongs in this picture. It's that's, light years ahead. Yeah, that's nuts. That's crazy. Look at the way the fucking hat's done. Do you know how hard it is mm. to draw a fucking hat? Did yeah, try drawing we, I tried. Hat? This I is can't terrible. do stick figures. I can't. <laughs> this is the grandpa who, like, ate an entire can of paint thinking it was yogurt. <laughs> what? Did he die? <laughs> no, he was fine. Oh. But they took this oh. picture of him like, yeah, no, that, that seems like the guy who'd accidentally Ooh, eat a can of yeah, paint no. thinking it was yogurt. That's... That Aim. is genuinely scarier to me than the oh, one God. of the dude eating the other dude. If, oh, I'm God, I'm throwing it to my soul! Oh, God! Like, no. framed on the wall at the end of a hallway, <laughs> and you, In were, a horror you game. were, you know, walking over to the kitchen to get something late at night. That would freak me the f*** out. That's a horror game trope right, right there. Oh, I just said it'd be a horror game trope. Taxidermy! Don't taxidermy your pets is because it's really hard to get it looking oh, like your pet again. God! <laughs> they have to... It's essentially oh, a skin on a mouth, no. right? No! Yeah. So to get the face Sparky. looking right with all of the oh, exact God. nuances of oh. the bone structure oh, no, and the way that, that oh, things God. sit is practically impossible. Why would you and do so that to a bun bun? it looking like your cat or your oh, dog by the end the of it. Fuck? I mean, that can't make you feel better about the situation, right? Oh. Yeah. yeah. What are you going to do? Look over and be like, oh, yeah, they used to stand there facing the wall like that. I miss them so much. Like, no, it's going to be awkward. Michelangelo! You know, I think about Michelangelo. Of course, that Michelangelo. apparently he died a virgin and he didn't really know what <laughs> female anatomy was like. And that's why all Bro, of his paintings out. just depict women as muscular men with tits <laughs> on top. Yeah, with it's basically just a dude and then he tits on top. He just really does not do a good I job to get with the full the tits. Effect without showing tits. God damn, it's like a chameleon looking at you, dude. He, did, he doesn't know what they look <laughs> he like. He doesn't know what tits look like. I don't know how to spell Andrew. Like. They'll, they'll know who you're talking about. Nobody's got that many fucking letters in their name anymore. <laughs> Can you imagine that? You meet somebody at fucking VidCon and it's like, oh, hey, I'm the internet historian. It's like, oh, hey, I'm Mike. And you're like, is that short for Michael? Michelangelo. Yeah. What's the the name's the, David. No. Oh, David? that's me. Full name Michelangelo. <laughs> Full name David Michelangelo. <laughs> <laughs> My mom is weird. Why couldn't Michelangelo Get paint 
Oh. Women. No, yeah. men with men. tits. <laughs> what the fuck? Is that really how he did that? Look at this. Look at this fucking sculpture. <laughs> God damn. Not the pets, my oh, dude. Oh, <laughs> hold on. Because of the stringent controls over female modesty, the idea goes it was inappropriate for women to get in, uh, undressed in front of men. If. I'm sorry. You. It was inappropriate for women to. Get undressed in front. Michelangelo then knew what women's bodies were like and was clearly able to draw them. We have to assume that the appearance of his women were deliberately chosen rather than through ignorance. I don't. That I feel like that's an insulting mm. take to try and go with. Yeah. No way, my man went with that and went. Yep, that's a good use of marble. What direction is he going? It seems to me like he's going in this direction. Yeah, for sure. So, yeah. so although they're not touching now, they're definitely going to touch. Yeah, or he's like hovering in place. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. Maybe they're teasing it. It's like, do you want to be alive? Mm. Should I take one of your ribs? I don't know mm. where in the story this is. Bruh. Have you seen God's fucking finger? Yeah. <laughs> Once his finger touches you, you know, you get the knowledge of God. And so he's about to be like... Oh my god, I'm naked and, and all the stuff in the Garden of Eve. But he's already touched this one. Yeah. And he's seen some shit. Look at his face. We've seen all of creation. It's true. The prophecy is true. Yeah. He's not interested at all in what Adam's doing. The kid behind him needs to stop holding his fucking breath as well. You're going to hurt yourself. <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Wait, there's so many more people than I initially thought. Holy <laughs> fuck. It's like he did the, the lines and then it never went back and painted over them. The kids up at the top over God's shoulder also just lacking in detail. One of them's just had like the life force sucked out of them. Oh, oh Michelangelo did the fucking Sistine Chapel, right? He did. Yeah, that's what yes, this is. Indeed. Oh, really? That is the yeah, I thought this was on the it's roof, right on there. the ceiling. <laughs> oh God, there's so much stuff. Yes, oh, sir. It's like a Wheels Wally. Can you find Wally part of the video? All right, challenge accepted, mofos. Let's go. Where you at, Wally? Where you at, big boy? I'm going to find your ass, boy. I'm going to find you now. Yeah! You dare issue the beast a challenge? That Wally. Where are you at, you little Wally bastard? Two hours later. If he's not in here, I'm gonna be pissed. <laughs> Twelve seconds later. Hey, can you find Wally? I, where Where is he? Can, can y'all find Wally? Hey, uh, if y'all can find Wally before me, post in the comments. No cheating now. Where did you go, Wally Wall? A few moments later. Let's go to 1080p HD quality, bitch. Oh my god, that's way better. Holy shit. Okay, where are you, Wall Wall? I found him! Gotcha, motherfucker! <laughs> Get him! I got him! Me editing me. Point him out for him. If you know where he is in the comments, let me know. Found you, little bitch! <laughs> None can escape the beast mode eyes of Beastly Boy. <laughs> this guy just on yeah, it really kind of looks like he started running out of ideas near the end. <laughs> Fuck it. I don't know. They're playing golf. You see Alvin and the chipmunks on their own little cloud over on the left side? This one's got a bag of skin. Wait, what the fuck is happening? I think he's skinned someone. This kind of fucked up. Fucking buff Jesus? That must be buff Jesus. Jesus was the swollest of the gods. What the what? <laughs> yeah, that's why he was the chosen one. Why would you, yeah, bro? Exactly. God, holy shit, man. How much did this dude get paid for this? Or do churches pay you? Yeah, the church commissioned him to do this. That's got to be the gig of a lifetime. Facts. It's a lot of goddamn work. And now we shall go on to Caravaggio. Basically oil. every artist ever. Well, the thing that strikes me about this is... <coughs> this is supposed to Medusa. be Medusa's reflection, isn't it? Oh, in a mirror, you mean? Yeah, like, well, that's the story. So, it's Hercules, isn't it? No, it's not Hercules. It's Perseus, so... that's it. Right. So, ah, Perseus, Perseus walks into the cave, and mm -hmm. he knows that Uses if he seal. sees her, he'll be literally petrified and turn into stone. Yeah, I want the B-roll to this to just be God of War footage, by the way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> so he's he's backing into the cave, essentially, and he's having to look through this through shiny seal. piece of yeah. gold metal, because I don't have the technology for proper mirrors back then. And then he, he does like a yes. 360 sword <laughs> yes. move, and he cuts off her head. What yes. I imagine this scene was is it's the first time she ever sees herself in the mirror. Oh, ah. fuck in your hair. Get it, get it. <clears throat> Sorry, I got the virus. I got a ghost to meet. Also, I'm going into a tunnel. Goodbye. Fading into a I learned a lot about more. art today. Artistic wonder, farewell. Um. The main channel video is coming. Another successful incognito mode reaction mission accomplished, ladies and gentlemen. They did it. Even.
No, it was <laughs> Internet historian giving us the artistic genius that the world has known and making, oh, so much delicious artistic progress. Link in the description down below to Internet historian. You're right, no deal, man. But see, if you like this video right here with your own soul juice, take a piece more claws of awesomeness juice, slash the like button, and until next time, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and beasts of all ages, stages, and sizes, I love peace and above all. Stay peace mode for the epic one of all the wins. Next time, we might have to bring the Black Sage for the next incognito mode. Quiet! This is Beastly Boy.